Hello and welcome! A few days back I have received another hoop tying tool from China and guess what? Yes, no instruction was included. It seems that when you get the tools from China, which are not really expensive, the price in my case was about $4, you should figure it out yourself on how it operates. If you like the tool, you can check it out on Amazon, I'll put the link in the description and it costs a bit less than $7. Before I begin, you can like the video, as it helps Google algorithm to rank it higher in search, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to support it, as it is still pretty young. As you can see, this tool has a few moving parts, we've got a hook sharpener and nail knot tire. Also, it has a line clipper and a small metal stick which is being used for clearing hook eyes. I've actually tied a couple of hooks with it already and I would say that it's pretty easy to use. It works perfectly well with the hooks which have an eye or without an eye. I'll show you how to tie both, but make sure you'll stick until the end, as the process is very similar, but a bit different. I'll start with a hook without an eye. I found it easier to tie hooks when this nail knot tire part is set to this position. You take the line and put it through the hole, which you'll find on the nail knot tire part, and hold it with your thumb. Now make between 5 and 7 wraps around the knot tire and hold it with your index finger. The end of the line goes through the loops that you've just done Take the hook Put it into the knot tire between the wraps And pull the end of the line and it will come off from the knot tire Make the knot tight and then cut unnecessary line. Now, let us make the same process with the hook, which has an eye. You just simply take the hook, put the line through the eye, the hook goes into the position which I'm gonna show you in a moment, and then you repeat the same steps as I've shown you with the first hook. It might look a bit clumsy when I'm tying hooks with it, but don't forget, I received it only a few days back and had just a bit of practice with it. You can like the video and subscribe to the channel if you would like to support it. In general, I would say that it does the job well. But honestly, I would prefer another tool. The one which I've made the video on.
and that's the one. I've actually made a video on it already, so you can check it on my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.